This is Vadim from Online Training for Everyone. And in this video, I'll share with you how to get prepared and pass a spatial reasoning employment assessment test to get you hired for your dream job. A spatial reasoning test is a type of cognitive assessment that evaluates individuals' ability to understand and manipulate visual information in order to solve problems. It assesses how well a person can mentally visualize objects, shapes, and their spatial relationships. Spatial reasoning involves mental rotation, visualization, pattern recognition, and understanding spatial transformations. It is an important skill in various fields, including mathematics, engineering, architecture, design, and many scientific disciplines. In a spatial reasoning test, individuals are typically presented with a series of visual puzzles or questions that require them to identify patterns, complete shapes, or mentally manipulate objects. There are typically five types of questions used on spatial reasoning test. Number one is rotating or folding shapes to identify the correct match. Number two is determining the next step in a sequence of geometric or spatial transformation. Number three is visualizing and mentally rotating 3D objects or shapes. Number four, identifying symmetries, mirror images, or patterns in a series of figures. And last but not least, number five is solving maze or pathfinding the problems. Spatial reasoning tests are often used in employment assessments, particularly for roles that require strong visualization and problem-solving skills. Spatial reasoning tests help measure a person's aptitude for understanding and interpreting visual information accurately. In this video, you will have everything you need to get prepared for spatial reasoning assessment test. Make sure to watch this video from the beginning to end, and if necessary, multiple times until you understand all the questions and know how to solve them easily. If you would like to practice with the most recent spatial reasoning assessment test questions, please make sure to follow the link in the description and in comments of this video. And now let's go ahead and get started so we can get you prepared. I love this challenge because it tests your analytical skills and spatial reasoning skills so well you need to find the resulting shape after the transformations. You're presented with the square that consists of different triangles of a different color. And you need to turn the original shape 90 degree clockwise three times. You have four different choices to select the shape after the transformations. Choice A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can calculate the final solution. Did you figure it out? because I am moving forward to share with you my version and my way of solving it. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, you need to mentally turn the original shape 90 degrees three times. This is not easy to do because our brain is not really designed for this. But if we take one of the triangles and try to follow this triangle by turning the original square, this task might be much easier to accomplish. The caveat here is that, that we need to select triangles that are not symmetrical on both sides. For example, red triangles are symmetrical. You see red triangles on the left and red triangles on the right. And if we try to follow it, it would be extremely hard to detect where the red triangle will end up. But if we take green triangles, any one of them, or yellow triangles, they're much easier to follow. So let's do the turning. Let's take the original square and I am going to follow the green triangle on the left. Let's do the first turn 90 degrees. You see that the green triangle ended up on the top. Let's do another turn. We follow the same green triangle and now it's on the right side. And the last 90 degree turn, our green triangle ended up at the bottom. So the correct choice here is choice A, where green triangle ended up on the bottom. Do you have a better way to solve it? Or maybe did you come up with a different solution? Please make sure to post your thoughts and rationale in comments. Here's an amazing question to test your spatial reasoning. You're presented with the three-dimensional view and you need to select view from the opposite side out of four possible choices. The choices are A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can select the right solution. Please look closely as it may not be as easy as it seems. Are you ready? Because I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And if you have a better way to solve it, obviously, please make sure to post in comments. If your answer to this question was choice C, you answered it correctly. 
There are four objects on the original three-dimensional image. We have a duck, we have a basketball, we have a smartphone, and we have a hammer, which is barely noticeable on the original picture. And the easiest way to solve this challenge is to select one object and track it on the opposite side. I selected a duck, but you can as well select a hammer or a smartphone. It is a little bit harder with the ball because it's in the middle and it's a symmetrical object. So let's go back to the duck. If you look at the original image, you see that the duck is looking to the left and it is on the left side of the ball. Which means that if we look from the opposite side, the duck will be looking to the right and would be on the right side of the ball. We frequently see these types of questions on the test. So to help you solve these types of challenges, here are the views of these objects from a different sides. Take a look at these objects from the right from the left side and take a look at this set of objects when duck and the ball have changed the position. I wanted to ask you, did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments, as well as you can supplement it with some tips on how to solve these types of challenges. This is one of my favorite questions just because it's so unusual, but the answer here is very simple. You are presented with the set of eight circles. Six of the circles are visible and you need to select two missing ones. You have four different choices to find the missing circles. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To answer this question, we need to detect the pattern. And the pattern here is very simple. Each circle is broken down into sections with darker sections and lighter sections. And if you look closely, you will see that all circles are grouped in pairs. And the pattern is hidden in the sequence for circle pairs, with each subsequent pair being similar to the previous one. Let's take a close look. To better understand the pattern, let's give each circle a unique number. If we start with the top row of circles, the numbers would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and the bottom row of circles will have numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8, with 7 and 8 being our missing pair. If you look closely at the circle 1, you will see that there is a dark section at the 2 o'clock, and circle 2 has two dark sections, one at noon and another one is at 2 o'clock. Similar pattern you see in circles 3 and 4, and then circles 5 and 6 also mimic the same pattern. Looking at possible answers, you see the choices A, B, C do not meet this pattern, and the only right answer that fits the pattern is choice D. Hopefully you've got to the same conclusion, and if you didn't, please make sure to post your answer and solution in comments. Here's a tricky problem, which some might find challenging, but you, being a subscriber to this channel, will solve very easily. You are presented with three expressions. Each expression is of a different color. And one of the items in the third expression, which represented by the blue color, is missing. You need to select the missing item, which is currently question mark, out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the answer. Consider pausing this video to see if you need more time to find the solution. On my end, I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer, and obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve any challenge, the key is to find the pattern. And this question is no exception. The pattern here is rather unusual, but it still exists. And the pattern here is that there are three core shapes represented by objects in the first column. The core objects here are arrow pointing up, star, and the circle and all remaining objects are just the variations which is created by merging core objects into another object. Let me demonstrate by starting with the red sequence. A red sequence is created by starting with arrow, merging arrow with the star, and then merging the result with the circle. A yellow expression is created by starting with the star, merging it with the circle, and then merging the result with the arrow. And last but not least, blue sequence starts with the circle, completes the merger with the star, 
and then missing item can be created by doing another merger with the arrow. As you might have noticed, the objects here presented as expressions instead of being a sequence. There is no other reason to do it than just to confuse you. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please post your ideas, solution and rationale in comments. Here's the very interesting question, which is frequently used to test your analytical reasoning and spatial reasoning. You are presented with the set of objects and you need to find the missing item. The set of objects consists of three rows. In the first row, you see the pigeon, arrow and then the pigeon again. In the second row, you see the flower, arrow and then the flower again. Then in the third row, you see the car, the arrow and then comes the missing item. You need to select the missing item out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. If you can't figure it out, consider pausing this video to see if you can get to the answer. Are you ready? I am moving forward to share with you my version and my rationale for the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it or if you have a better explanation, please make sure to post in comments. The actual answer to the question is very simple. But the question was designed to confuse you. The objects that you see on the left of the arrow and on the right of the arrow are reflections of each other. What's interesting here is that the objects are mirror images reflected either horizontally or vertically. You determine the axis of reflection based not on the direction of the arrow, but based on the direction which is rotated 90 degrees to the direction actually shown. Let's look at the actual example. Because the direction of the first arrow in the first row goes from top to bottom, the pigeon actually is reflected horizontally, not vertically. And to get to the correct answer, you need to rotate the pigeon 180 degrees. Let's look at the second object. We see the flowers with the yellow flower being on the left. And once we do the conversion, basically vertical reflection, because the arrow goes from left to right we see that the yellow flower is now on the right. So the pattern here is that the arrow points to perpendicular direction of the actual reflection. For example, vertical direction of the arrow results in horizontal reflection and vice versa. Let's look at the third row to get to the correct answer. Because arrow goes from top to bottom, we need to use horizontal reflection, which means that the correct answer here is choice A. Did you get to the same answer? If not, please make sure to post your answer and rationale in comments. I love this question because it really boosts your IQ and improves your intelligence. You're presented with three rows of objects. Each object represents a square and circle inside. You need to select the missing object out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C and D. Take a close look to see if you can come up with the solution. I have full confidence that you figured it out by now. And this is why I'm moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To better solve this challenge, let's assign columns and rows to each object here in the picture. We will have columns A, B and C and rows 1, 2 and 3. This would allow us to reference objects better. As you might have guessed, each row describes the pattern of ball bouncing against the wall. Let's start by looking at the object A1. This is where the ball in the upper left corner and it moves downwards toward the middle of the bottom section. And this is where exactly we see the ball in the object B1. After that, ball bounces and moves upward and this is how we see it in C1. When ball bounces against the wall, it travels in the direction based on the angle of the initial impact. After the initial impact, the ball will continue moving in the new direction until acted upon by another force, such as hitting another wall or an object. Let's confirm this pattern by looking at the row 2. In the object A2, we see the ball against the left wall. Then it moves toward the bottom wall and then bounces against the bottom wall and then moves toward the right wall. Knowing the pattern, we can easily detect the answer now. If you look closely at the picture, the ball in the row 3 moves from the position 1 to the position 2 and then to the position 3. So the correct answer here is choice C. Did you get to the same answer? Or maybe you know the tips how to solve these problems better. Please make sure to post and share them in comments so we can all learn.
Here's an amazing question to validate your analytical skills and spatial reasoning. You're presented with the square, which is broken down into four parts. Three parts are filled with different shapes, and fourth part is missing. You need to determine which choice would create the most symmetrical large square. And you need to select this choice out of four possible choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. Take a close look to see if you can meet the condition and select the right shape. Are you ready? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. To solve this challenge, let's better understand what we're dealing with. We have five types of shapes. We have L-shape, we have a semicircle, we have a semi-diamond, semi-heart and rectangle. Each one of the shapes is located in a small square and each one of the shapes has one, two or three dots inside of it. Now, large square is broken into four small squares. Let's give each one of the small squares an ID. We'll call them area one, area two, area three, and then comes the missing area, which we need to fill would be area four. If we go back to the original question, our goal is to identify which choice would create the most symmetrical large square. Let's look closely at what most symmetrical might mean. Let's draw a horizontal symmetrical line and let's draw a vertical symmetrical line to help us define the symmetry in the large square. Let's look at the easiest symmetrical objects we can identify. For example, between area one and area two, we can build the full yellow diamond. And to do this, we will use the two half diamond objects with one dot. Between area two and area three, we can build a full heart using the semi-hearts and one dot on each side. The choice that we would need to select would help us build the circle between areas one and four, and the circle would be green and will have one dot, and the correct choice will also help us build the symmetrical L-shaped object between areas three and four, which will have two dots. Two choices match both of these criteria, and these choices are A and B. Which one do you think we should select? Let's look closely to see if we can determine some additional patterns. For example, across horizontal line, if we look, there is a red L shape and blue L shape. So the key here is L shape. It's on the both sides of the horizontal symmetrical line. Same thing with green triangle in area three. And potentially we would need to have yellow triangle or triangle of other color in the area four. We can also see the symmetry diagonally across the horizontal symmetrical line. For example, a red L shape in area one has two dots and green triangle in area three has two dots as well, which means that the missing object should have three dots symmetrical to the blue L shape. So the triangle in area four will need to have three dots. Very similar symmetry exists between rectangle in area two and area four. It should be a rectangle in area four and rectangle should have three dots as well. Based on all of this analysis, I think the correct choice here is choice A. Did you detect any other symmetries or did you come up with the different solution? Please make sure to post your version, answer and solution in comments. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate you for helping us to become one of the largest YouTube channels to help people become smarter, increase your IQ and help you to pass any test. If the content was helpful, please click the like button to help YouTube algorithm promote this video and help other people to find it faster. Giving us a like is also a way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and when you tell us, we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links to free and premium resources, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to download the materials. I really appreciate you for your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. And thank you for considering to become a YouTube member and considering to subscribe. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.